So this is the 40 gallon grow out tank. Yeah, I know I've got some big uh, a boon in there. I've got a big ACI up there. And we're not sure if it's an elongatus or if he's a giant Amazonia. But so those are the big guys. But this is actually that little guy right there, that little OB. Um, that is actually a Mabuna type OB. And then um, I've actually got some peacocks in here that I'll do as a grow out, see how big they can get. And yeah, there's the little uh, couple of varieties, kind of funky here. This is just kind of the whatever tank. Um, so yeah, I've got some glow fish in there from my son. There's an African jewel. Um, and then uh, we've got some assorted Mabuna, because I typically have the practice of putting in one of these smaller fish when I bring in a bigger fish into my 125, just so that they don't pick, so they basically use as a dither fish. And um, actually, there's a little peacock that is a sunshine uh, that's getting the blue face, and uh, he'll end up getting bigger, but I want him to get just a touch bigger before I put him in the other one. And the other is a red hybrid. It might be a red shoulder, I'm not quite sure. And I'll show you some ones that started that size and uh, migrated over to the 125 so you get an idea. Because they're, once they get to that one, they're, they're doing pretty good, but you need to make sure they can hold themselves, hold their own with food and all that kind of thing. So anyway, this is just the miscellaneous one. And oh yeah, here's a funky one. Yeah, I've got an angelfish for my sons big one you can't tell from this side but from the side you sure can well, let's see if I can get up without killing myself and here we go okay that's yeah, actually a fairly decent size angel and apparently he's got he typically gets beat up a touch but he's just there and I don't have the heart to just get rid of him so anyway that's the grow out tank. Now let's go see the big 125 in a different video.